there is a time to dance. See, this is our time to dance. It is our way of, of celebrating life. The famed words of Ren McCormick, it's our time to dance. To dance like Ren McCormick did in that treasured 1984 flick known as Footloose, you need two good feet. That's not currently the situation for Arizona men's basketball point guard Kirk Creesa. Turn away from your TV if you're a little squeamish like me. This is a picture Creesa tweeted out of his injured ankle. I mean, ugh, the sophomore state's not easy, but doing everything I can to get back on the court. It's March. Time to go. The head coach says this about the chances surrounding his injured point guard playing on Friday. I mean, I mean, I, I'd say they're hopeful. You know, sprained ankles. I don't think this is like a Zulish's sprain. I mean, obviously it's a real sprain, but um, you know, I, I think I think there's a real chance he'll play. Whether Creesa can play is not only in his hands, but those of longtime trainer Justin Kakowski and strength coach Chris Rounds. Yeah, I know this. They're attacking it, and 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 I know we've had. This issue pop up a couple times this season, and J Rock's done an incredible job with the medical staff at getting guys back, and and, and not not only back, but 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 confident in being back. Get up on that toe. Good. Nine. One more. One more. So Kirk Creesa, questionable for the Arizona men. Things though sound a lot more promising in terms of the injured star forward Kate Reese for the Wildcat women. Reese has missed all of the last three games for U of A after injuring her shoulder in the second half of the Wildcats late season loss at Washington State. Since that injury, Arizona on the court, just one win, three losses. So there's no question that if this team wants to make another deep run in March, the Cats, they've got to have their leading score. She's um, not limited at all in practice and full scrimmaging everything and she has been for a few days so just happy she's finally back and she'll be wearing a brace but that's just for safety and she's you know, gotten her win back. She sprinted a lot this week. I think she's ready to go and we're ready to have her back for sure. All right, News 4 Tucson, where you want to be. Complete coverage of the NCAA men's and women's basketball tournaments. I'm going to head to San Diego with the guys. Paul Sakala will be right here with the ladies.